and I'm told that I'm live already. And as always, I am your host, your humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. Please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, check out Machinery of Man, the everything factor, Transformers, Collectors, NL, and me everywhere. And while you're at it, that's right, hit the notification bell because it lets you know when new content is going up. If you know someone who might be interested in our topics, call them, text them, message them, send one of those like messenger pigeons, you know, I know it's old school, but like, let them know that we're gone live and we actually have a lot of things to cover here. Um, Starscream Wife will be over in the live chat with you guys. You know, by now I'm going to check in there as well, but she, I believe is already over there. We have a few things, definitely, definitely the, to cover here uh, tonight. Uh, David Hill was the first guy to come in and said, hello, hello. So David, you get the first shout out, my friend. Um, I also want to give a shout out. I, I touched on it last week, but I want to give a proper shout out to uh, Ty and Mark. A couple of weeks ago, they were our uh, Super Chat super fans. Um, big thank you to them for helping the channel along. Okay, so we have actually a bunch of topics to cover here tonight and i'm really excited to kind of cover all of them okay some really uh kind of interesting things up and coming very first thing i wanted to touch on um a couple of things that i saw in uh, another live stream earlier the week i want to say it might have been kato and larkin Kato or Larkin. I'm not sure about that. Uh, hey, Kato, Larkin, you guys get a shout out. Um, one is definitely, definitely from Larkin. Um, and he done a video earlier the week asking the question, what would happen if G1 started now? What sort of uh, transforming toy lines could be included in G1 if it started now? And uh, it was a very interesting question, a very thought provoking question. And I can't think personally of a lot of toy lines, though he found a lot more than I even knew existed. I think we would have a very different take on G1 if it was only beginning now. Would it have even been the sort of thing that could catch on? Because the market is flooded with a lot of franchises now, man. A lot of franchises. So if you haven't checked that out from Larkin, I highly suggest you do. Um, then the discussion also came up this week about censoring yourself on camera. And I thought it was an interesting discussion. And the question came to me, Gotbot, are you the same on camera as you are in real life? Do you censor yourself? What is it like, man? Here's the way I always explain it. I am always true to myself, but different aspects of my personality come out at different times. The me you guys see on camera is not necessarily the me with friends and family. It's not necessarily the me that's in the classroom. As a lot of you know, I'm a teacher by day. Um, but I think that you have to be true to yourself, but you have to kind of know who your audience is or potentially could be. I realize that with my content, there could be a lot of kids, and I know kids do watch, so I try to be very careful about it and watch my P's and Q's. Not everybody's like that, and that's cool too, because you have to be true, like I said, to you. But when it comes to censoring myself, I know I do, and I know some of you guys do as well. So I just wanted to touch on those couple of things. Um, if you do or don't sense yourself, let me know over in the comments. Okay, now, the next thing that I'm going to want to talk about are unpopular opinions. There's a lot of them, not only with the franchise, but with the toys. There's been a lot of unpopular opinions over the years, man. And I'm going to cover some of them here, some I agree with. Some I don't agree with. And I'd love to hear what ones you could add to the list. These are the sort of opinions that tend to get people kind of triggered and start big, long um, debates and conversations and sometimes, sadly, arguments. But they're ones that exist that I've come across one time or another. Like I said, some I share, some I don't. I'm not giving the list here. It's kind of an impromptu top 10 list. I'm not giving the list here as a means to kind of tip anyone off it's just uh, like a thought-provoking list. And when I get to the end of it, I'd like to know kind of what ones have you come across? Not necessarily if you agree or disagree with the ones that I give here. These are examples. But what other ones do you know of that maybe I haven't heard of? Because I always like to hear that different side of the story. But before we do that, I'm going to actually kind of see what's going on over in the chat. 
Um, and or am I going to be able to see what's going on over in the chat? Hmm. Maybe I can't. Hmm. Maybe I can't see what's going on over in the chat. Very strange indeed. Usually I'm able to do that. Huh. Very strange. Let me try something else here. Sorry about this, folks. It's called technical difficulty. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to see what's going on in the chat. Um, maybe I can do it that way. Um, you got Ninja Bill, Sam, Mark, and David, Deluxe, uh, Maximal. Uh, Ty showed up. He said it was uh, like taking a Transformers class online. <laughs> um, wow. I Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to partake in the chat because it's not working for me. The way I, that I normally kind of do things here is not working for me today, unfortunately. Maybe Nothing. I I can't I can't move the I can't I can't move it over like I normally do. Can you dance size it? Yeah, I can, but I'm not gonna be able to see it then. No, I mean like are you on full screen? Yeah. Like, normally, it's a thing that comes up down here. Yeah, I don't know what you got done. I don't have anything done. He broke it. I, maybe. It's mean technology. Um, that's disappointing. You're going to have to put up with Starstream Wipes because I'm not going to be able to. It's far too small for me to see. When the little chat comes up, it's, it, there's no way I can read that. It's way too small. And normally, I upsize the page, and I can kind of see it that way, but unfortunately when I'm upsizing the page now and uh, it's not letting me um it's not letting me I don't even know what to say it's not letting me like toggle back and forth Marvin suggested maybe um looking at the live chat from your phone while you're I my phone is down to 25 percent so and even then I'd have to be far too close to it Larkin um, I'll try again in a little bit, but because I'm wasting time here now and I don't like doing that. That's sad. I'm disappointed. Um, okay, so top 10 unpopular um, opinions, and there's been lots of them over the years. These are not necessarily even in an order, but we have things like um, Universe Galvatron is excellent. I've heard people say it. I don't understand how anyone could say that Universe Galvatron, that atrocious mess, is anything but awful. It basically just falls apart. Um, then we have uh, Wheelie is not an annoying character. Wheelie is probably second only to Stampy. If you know Stampy, big shout out to you. <laughs> Two of the absolute most annoying characters there have ever been in the franchise, how anyone could be a fan of Wheelie. If you're a fan of Wheelie, I think you're morally wrong. There, just, I said it, don't even feel bad for it. Don't even apologize for it, man. Don't even apologize for it. Um, well, my whole screen looks really weird here. Um, what else do we have here? Um, Siege isn't that much better than what we've gotten. A lot of people think that Siege is kind of the be-all and end-all for what we've gotten, uh, and that the kind of uh, Prime Wars trilogy stuff was pretty lackluster and bad. Um, I'm A lot of people said, it's so much heavier. No, it's not. You know, I get it. There are definitely more uh, like higher parts count. There's a lot to like about Siege. Uh, but there's a debate as to whether or not people are just getting caught up with the hype, or if it is better. Um, so some people say, yeah, it's way better. And some people have said, no, it's not that much better. 
I'm not saying whether you agree with it or not, but it is a, an unpopular opinion that I've heard because I think most people would say that it's it's better. Uh, what else would be an unpopular opinion? Oh, here's a big one. Ben's Toys Phoenix is trash. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of people love it. I know it's a he looks amazing. It's a great stand, and, and I get it. The unpopular opinion is that he's not good. I done a review of the guy. The copy I had was on loan, and straight to the package, it was broken. So that did tar my, and that was the first time I ever experienced anything from Fans Toys. So it was a bad first experience, unfortunately, with the company. But you know, to each their own. I'm just noting that I've heard that argument before. Similarly, I've also heard people say that Fall of Cybertron uh, Bruticus is highly effective as a Bruticus. Um, as I say this, a lot of you are probably saying, follow Cybertron Bruticus. Effective? No, he was garbage. But I have heard it said that he was effective. Uh, R.I.D. Thunderhoof is cool. He's a good toy. I, I don't get this one. This is one of those that I agree or sorry, disagree with. I don't think he's a good toy. I think he's a terrible awful toy and the terrible awful toy is the, the view that would be unpopular. Most people thought that as far as the R.I.D. line went the thunderhoof was pretty great i thought it was such trash such trash and to this day i'm still waiting for him to break i don't like anything i've even used him in stop motion and i don't i'm not a fan of him i don't even i don't like it um here's another one that a lot of people are not going to understand it's one that i have said and i've heard a few people agree with me not many mp10 is not that great I think I was so built up for so many years for him to be perfect, the perfect Optimus Prime. And if you know me and Masterpieces, I expect nothing less than perfection because they call themselves Masterpiece. MP10 is not perfect. The arms can only go out like about this far. Like he can't hold his arm right out to the side. To me, that's not effective. Uh, I find the transformation a bit fiddly and finicky it's it's not he's not for me and i always thought that when i had an opportunity to look at that mold that after i would want to have a copy of it so bad i really don't i i i don't i it's not for me i know that that's unpopular uh next one uh, who will be who agrees with me oh see see bill you got good taste i knew you did buddy i knew you did um the MP line is overrated. I think that depends on the type of collector you are and what you're looking for. If you want something that looks fantastic on the shelf, then it's, it's fine, man. It's perfect. I would say that you're probably more of an art collector. If you want something that's more functional, I've heard of too many issues with them. Like Dinobot, MP Dinobot had um, uh, like a breakage issue in his shoulder I heard of and I believe on an ankle. I heard of a breakage issue in the pelvis of uh, Beast Wars Megatron. Uh, both of the regular G1 Megatrons, uh, MP5 and MP36, have their issues. Not perfect. So you spend a lot of money on these. You know, you're making a major investment. Are these imperfections acceptable? Um, to me, they're not. To me, I think it's overrated, but I know that's not a popular opinion. TLK, I don't get this one either. TLK, the last night Steel Bane was a good toy. He looked cool, but that mold is such trash. It fell apart. Like, it literally fell apart. I had to thicken every single joint and ball joint on that figure. If you got a good copy, I would say you're very lucky and in the minority. But I have heard people say, hey, it was a great mold. It was a fun mold. Not my experience, but I've heard it. And I don't think it's the popular one. I think most people would agree with me in this case that Steelbane was just an awful figure. Looked nice, but was functionally terrible um power of the primes leader optimus prime is bad a lot of people say that the culprit for that leader class optimus prime is that his ankles aren't good and that he falls back on that oh, here's what i don't get why aren't you people locking the ankles in that say he's not good because the ankles do have like my ankles i'd like to hear it from you guys the ankles on my power of the primes leader class optimus prime actually click when you push them, they click, and there's a little, and then he stands just fine. His ankles are extremely secure. Um, but I know that that's not everyone's 
experience. Uh, do I have anything else there? I don't think I have anything else there. Uh, but it's it's ideas like that. Like we probably actually covered maybe eleven unpopular opinions there. Uh, think about it as we go through here. If you can think of an unpopular opinion that I haven't covered there, um, you know. Transformer Cybertron is the best series there ever was. If you can think of an unpopular opinion, let me know. But that's kind of my 10 or 11 unpopular opinions that come to my mind. Some I agree with, some I don't. I like the studio series line. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that or is somebody else saying that? No, that's me. Okay, you, she likes the studio series line. You know, and, and some people do and some people don't. I'm going to, now I'm going to, guys, bear with me because we're going to move on to the next topic, and we do have a few left. Uh, I want you to think about that for a minute. While you're thinking about it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and see if I can get over here to the comments again and make something work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But keep thinking there for now. I, I'll tell you, my whole, my whole thing is acting a bit weird here today. And I know I'm off screen. I apologize for that. Um, guys, like... Bear with me. Um, is there a way for me to? You figure that there'd be a better way to deal with some of this stuff sometimes. And there's not always a better way to deal with it until you're actually like in the moment with it. Um, and if you're anything like me and you're not super tech savvy as it is anyway, this stuff kind of becomes exponentially more difficult. And I do love interacting with you guys. But I think you all know that by now. Um, let's see here. No, no, doesn't seem to want to work. I'm going to, I'm actually going to ask um, Starscream wife if she can bring me over my phone. I'm going to take Larkin's suggestion and I'm going to at least try and see if I can get it to work there. And I, I apologize for this being a bit of a nuisance today, guys. Um, hopefully she can bring it over. And I'll try it from here, but this might be... This may or may not work as well. Um, ooh. Uh, you know what? Um, nope, it's not going to work. It's not going to work for me, my friend. Unfortunately, that really, that is really unfortunate. And I don't know why my internet is acting up like this and ruining my fun. That's really, really, really bothering me. Like a lot. Um, I'm glad, I'm very glad that Starscream Wife is here with you guys. Okay, well, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll, I'll go on. What can I do? What can I do? I, I, I'm going to have to. I don't see a way. I need you to move. <laughs> she needs me to move? To where? You're in the way. Well, aren't I usually? Well, she's doing her tech magic I, I apologize in advance if i cut this off mm. i'll try not to what are you trying to do Just okay i'm going to in the meantime talk about a few reveal things um while she's taking a look at this stuff and if she's able to work something out then you know what fantastic i'm the better <laughs> okay so we had a few not so much reveals we had a few reveal things but it's stuff that people oh hey look what you did I don't why? know how you did that, why but are you so big? Who cares why I'm big? 
I'm big because I live large. That's why I'm big because I live large. Okay. Is, so, that, is that okay? Yeah, that is. I have no idea how you got this up like that, but great. Okay. Wonderful. Because Actually, I think I know exactly what you because did. Because I'm me. Oh. No, I think I, you took it out and then you upsized it after, didn't you? Not on here. You upsized it on the yeah, main I, one, didn't I you? Yeah, I popped it out because that's the only yeah. way it's going to work. Yeah. Right okay. Now. All right. Good. Okay. So I'm going to, I am, guys, uh, you know what? Say thank you to Starscream Wife because she just made this work. Um, and, um, we're going to, uh, take a look at, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the comments here. I'm going to try and catch up with you guys. Larkin was a great idea, buddy. I really appreciate you being here. Absolutely. Um, uh, but the phone didn't work for me. I'm, I'm, a, what can I say? I'm a special case, man. <laughs> some special case. Um, Rudy, uh, thanks for dropping in. Uh, Ooh, really? Third party train bots may be out. Hmm, could be. Uh, got bot broke the internet. Sounds about right, Ninja Bill. I'm the guy. I'm the guy when it comes to this internet stuff, believe it or not. Like, when you have a channel, a lot of people assume that you know things about technology. I, I don't. I don't. I'm the guy who once had a problem, contacted uh, Microsoft customer support, and they tried to troubleshoot it all and took control of the computer and everything and could not fix the problem said they'd never heard of the problem i'm that guy i'm the guy who technology actually hates um uh hello gamer xd uh chris uh Miller, i don't know why i said what but welcome uh maximal 10 was a big help to me today with getting something as a matter of fact sam glad you're here uh big daddy wheelie is annoying i still have him in the box yeah really he's just wheelie's awful um, let's see, <laughs> Deluxe, Siege is wonderful, I know you think Siege is wonderful, my friend, um, let's see, so much better than Powder Prime, you know what, a lot of people say it's so much better than, than Powder Prime, and I, like, I get it, I get it, there's less hollowness and stuff, but like, I like Combiner Wars, I know that by the end of it, we were all sick of the repaints, I was too, but like those first few waves, when we got the first few Combiners, were they were pretty good overall, not Motormaster, but you know, if you if you checked out uh, what I did with him custom-wise a long time ago, like, my Motormaster is great now, and he does have custom forearms on him from the uh, Battle Core Optimus Prime, but other than that, like, he, he works all right now. Uh, Siege is the best so far. Like, I get it. Like, this is why I said these unpopular comments. Because uh, they... What? Because they are the sort of things that really do spur a conversation a lot of the time. Uh, going down... I'm definitely going to miss a lot of these comments now. Um, and I apologize for that. Um... Let's see. The Lux MP10. MP10 was great for the time, but like always, things get better. Now, that's a good point, too, Deluxe. Maybe by the time I finally got around to taking a look at MP10 and getting the, the mold in hand, maybe it was dated. Maybe if I had experienced it when it first came out, maybe my opinion would have been much different about them because I wouldn't have been so built up for so many years. Um, uh, MWG, glad you're here, buddy. I still display my MP01. Now, Chris uh, says, I still display my MP01 proudly. I, you know what? I still think that that's a fantastic figure. Um, I thought that was so good. Uh, Ninja Bill just pointed out as well that uh, it's a happy anniversary to the 86 movie today. A lot of us had our childhoods uh, ruptured uh, on this day many, many years ago. 35 years ago, I guess it was. Um, is that what it is? 35, 33, 33, maybe. Uh, let's see going down here. Um, uh, yeah. Oof. Oof. Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts on transformers? Uh, nothing good. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. Nothing good. Uh, Sam, let's see. Here's my unpopular opinion. Transformers prime is overrated. It's good, but it's not so good as people make it out to be. See, there's an unpopular opinion, Sam. I I love Transformers Prime, personally. But not everybody agrees, and I've heard people voice Sam's opinion before, actually. Unpopular opinion is that my, my reviews would be better with 
Ooh, deluxe. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that might be just too much deluxe for us all. Although you do have the best beard in the business. Uh, if you push me backwards, I'll fall over too. Uh, from the void, uh, in the shadows. She, Starscream Wife, is usually in the shadows. Um, the dinosaur planet, I'm glad you're here. We're almost, we're almost down there again. Uh, YT, I don't think, Chris, I don't think it was YT Sabotage. I think it's just, here's the thing. We're going to talk about something when we get to Universal Collision's uh, first episode. Um, what, YouTube's been really acting weird the last few days for me for some peculiar reason. Um, uh, my popular opinion is that Power of the Primes Rodimus is good. Ooh, Power of the Primes Rodimus is so not good. Oh, that's an excellent, excellent one. Uh, Starscream Wife to the rescue. She usually is. Okay. And Tia Fangi, Fan Geek uh, in here now. My least favorite Combiner Wars Torso Bot is Onslaught. Really? I love Onslaught. He's great, but he would have been worked better with retooling uh, than retooling Hotspot. He, he, they could have probably done something better than retool Hotspot, but I'd still love him. Uh, I wonder if an official toy of Violent Jiger will ever be made. I don't know, but we're going to talk about that very shortly, too. Okay, so while you guys keep chit-chatting there, and I will be checking in now periodically, I kind of like this setup, actually. I think she... I think she may have found a way to help these streams go a little more smoother in the future. Um, so we had some reveals, some pictures. Last week, I talked about the Seacons being revealed. And I said, hey, we were just seeing gray images. Now we have seen um, at least the first two members have color images. They look spectacular. It is typical Takara coloring where it looks fabulous. Now, last week I said... They're going to also come with the Takara premium price. And everybody said to me, no, they won't. They're selects. They're going to be regular. Well, two pre-orders are up. And the Voyager Torso in U.S. dollars is 60 bucks, And I believe the um, deluxe class limb that we currently have is 35 U.S. They are coming with the Takara um, premium. Why? Because they're still an import. This is not a selects release from Hasbro. This is along the line of Star Convoy and being released as um, an import from Takara. Am I in for it? Because that's what everybody keeps asking me. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like the idea, especially now that I got a custom violin Jiger. Getting the nine generals does have a big appeal to me. But I also have to understand that if I'm going to be in for it, I'm going to have to be okay with paying the premium. I do like the Abominus molds, so I might be okay with it. Um, Cyberverse Deadlock was shown. Now, I think a lot of people, uh, Masterfire and I talked about this earlier, I guess last week, and he's the one who kind of put me onto it, that we could probably use a, a, another new drift. And I think a lot of people thought that this was going to be a drift, but apparently it's going to be Deadlock. It it looks all right. I, again, it has gimmick junk that I don't think it needs. Uh, the lower legs are pretty hollow on it, though. So I'm I'm going to reserve judge, judgment on Deadlock for now. Um, I like it, but we'll wait and see. Unique Toys announced that they're doing their last night Megatron. Look, it looks fabulous. If it's half as good as Peru Kill, it will probably be a fantastic figure because Peru Kill is great. Um there's another, I'm not even going to say unpopular opinion. that got to be a popular opinion. Peru Kill is fantastic. Uh, we saw some Studio Series picks, um, such as another Bumblebee. And this one, I don't think his battle mask can come off. It's the uh, Concept Camaro from the 2007 movie. I, I don't care. I don't know if you do. I don't care. The RC triplets were shown, just as I surmised. They are smaller. It makes sense because there's three of them at a deluxe price point. Plus, they're just slight motorcycles. Um, they're still weird. The motorcycles look cool. The robots look odd. But it goes with that movie aesthetic for those three characters. If you're in for it, at least you get all three in one shot without having to hunt them down. Same with Laserbeak and Soundwave, who I think look great. But even though they're silver, they look kind of bland. Like, there's not enough of a color breakup, especially on Laserbeak. I think I would have liked to have seen, I don't know, some red thrown in there, maybe. I don't know, man. Red? Blue? I don't know. It, it looks great, but again, it, I think it, that Soundwave himself is a little bit smaller. Uh, Ty said to me that he read that it was that uh, he was going to be four and a half inches tall. 
that would be about Jazz's height. So, yeah, he would be smaller. I said that, and people argued with me through the week. No, he won't be smaller. It's still a plastic content allotment for a deluxe price point, whether you do it all in one figure or whether you do it in Soundwave and Laserbeak. It's still the plastic allotment, guys and girls, just saying. Um, he looks great, though. I mean, there's an argument to be had for having him, but if you have an older one and you like your sound wave a little bit bigger. I could see why you'd keep the older one as well. Um, we also saw World War II uh, Hot Rod. I, I, I don't really like Hot Rod from the movies, but I'm going to say this. I think World War II Hot Rod looks amazing. I think it looks fantastic. I don't know if it's a reuse of that Bumblebee green mold or not, but I think it looks really slick and black. Might be down for it, actually. Um, what else do we have here? Cyberverse Scraplets were shown this week as well. Um, apparently they're out in the U.S., so I don't keep your eyes open for them. Uh, I, I'd like to have a couple of them. I, 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 it says Scout Class, so I'm not sure exactly how big they are, but like I'm down for a little scraplet or two or maybe three. Um, they're not out here yet. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, I've seen a, a couple of early reviews on Cyberverse Cheetor. I don't like his battle armor. It's ridiculous, just like it's ridiculous on Bumblebee because it's just a reuse of that junk. But I think that the Cheetor figure as like a deluxe-ish size figure, a warrior size figure, I think it's pretty cool. Now, don't get me wrong. His, che his Cheetah mode is kind of a robot just bent over. But you've maintained the leg articulation in the back legs. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that the way you turn the forearms will sort of make his folded up hand be on the outside of the leg. And that sort of bugs me a little bit. Uh, you know, I'll live with it, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm in for it because honestly, I still think the Beast Wars Cheetah or Cheetor is one of the better Cheetors. Just saying. Um, yeah, but his, his armor is that spark armor dome. Um, 35th anniversary Blue Streak Optimus. Uh, Sound our sound blaster and um, Megatron in package picks were shown. They look cool. I think they're going to make an impact on the shelf. Uh, I don't really need them except for sound blaster. We already talked about that. Uh, Bot Bots Wave Three with names were announced. This some of these were hilarious. Like 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 cackle corn and he's like popcorn. Um, then there was Driver Ted who's, I think, a motorcycle um, video game. I don't know why it's called Driver Ted. I, I don't know why his name is Ted. Uh, Sugar Feet, who looks like a donut. T Tangry Tart. I love that. Uh, and he turns into, like, a sucker, basically. Um, Shushifier is a pacifier. Shushifier. They're getting, they're getting real lazy with some of these names now. I'm just saying. Shusha fire. Malcontent. And he turns into a tent. Malcontent. And he turns into a tent. I'm sorry. That's brilliant. My very favorite is fail polish. The nail polish. Um, Nanny McBag. Turns into like a purse. Like a bag. And D-Pad Chad. Because, you know... His name is Chad. And and then I don't even know how to say the name. Win wins wins and wins and gree. Anyway, he turns into a Christmas tree. I don't know, like they're so weird, but I absolutely love um the names on them. Bot bots aren't for me, but I love the names that they're giving us some of these guys. Um just gonna go back here and check in on the see, see, this is my life. See, this is my life. I don't even know where she got that from. This is this is what I got to live with. Um, chat yeah, I know they're chatting without me. That's why I'm gone back. Um, guys, like, you know, I can only do so much. I'm only one man, guys. I'm only one man. I can only do so much. Uh, second reissue, Swerve. Uh, it's funny. I uh, Green Turtle Gaming said he got a second reissue, Swerve. The, like... First batch of uh, like G1 reissues recently came out again here, but we still don't have Warpath or Gears. Oddly, um, Beats. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm having to go up a bit here. 
uh, going down. Energon had some good stuff. Energon did have some good figures. Um, going back, uh, Green Turtle Gaming. Hey, uh, let's see. Unpopular opinion. The first two seasons of G1 were overrated, and they should focus more on the other TV era and G2 era. At least the original. Ooh, so like season three in G2 era. I could say that that be an unpopular opinion, though I would have. I think everybody could have a little more Springer and Cup in their life. Uh, got my first uh, Battlemaster Aimless. Uh, I love the little Battlemasters, man. Aimless is a good one to get. I'm happy for you. Uh, no Beast Machines love. I love Beast Machines. As a matter of fact, as far as I'm concerned, the Beast era, uh, Larkin said this, no Beast Machines love. The Beast era did not end at the end of Beast Wars when they're going back to Cybertron. If you want to see the end of the Beast era, you really have to watch Beast Machines, because technically, as far as I'm concerned, it's not a different series. It is season four of Beast Wars. That's the way I've always looked at it, and that's the way I'm always going to look at it. Um, but I never minded it, uh, even though it got a little esoteric and weird at times. Uh, let's see. I also got my... Okay, I already said that. Uh, going down here, we're chatting about Beast Machines. Yeah, yeah, Beast Machines. Beast Machines was a good show for what it was, but like it was, it was a lot more mature than just like fans. Spark Armor Deluxe Class Drift is a scout. Oh, the scout class is Deadlock. Okay, all right. Well, I stand corrected. Thank you, the Dinosaur Planet, for pointing that out. What do I know? Uh, Siege Power Dasher reveals also. Yeah, I talked about the Power Dasher reveals last week. All three of them. Uh, I want all three of them. Here's the thing: the Amazon exclusive set. I don't necessarily want the, that Impactor or that um, Mirage, but I'd love to have the Power Dasher that comes in that set. Uh, I enjoy ROTF Optimus Prime. I enjoy Transform. On popular opinion, I enjoy transforming ROTF Optimus Prime. Oh, TF Fangy. He's so hard. I mean, he's glorious, but he's so challenging. He's not fun. He's just glorious. Uh, I've been watching uh, Balt's reviews of the Spark Armor. Uh, some ain't... No, I guess if you're into the Spark Armor stuff, Bill, but like I'm just not into the Spark Armor stuff, I guess. Uh, Rock'em Sock'em. Rock'em Sock'em Robots was always good. Uh, let's see. Uh, streaming. What? Uh, streaming and giving me a shout out. Humble little old me, TF Fan Geek. I am honored, my friend. Uh, haul video. Where do you guys get all of these huge hauls from, man? Um, God, you know, bless you for, for, for your luck, but I never find a bunch of stuff at once. Uh, let's see. Uh, best to be there. Unpopular opinion. I have zero Studio Series toys in my collection. Really? Is that true, TF Fan Geek? Fan Geek, do you actually have zero? Uh, let's see. Scraplets, I'm going to need one or two myself. Yeah, I absolutely agree, David Hill. Uh, I still have to watch your vids, Green. We'll get to them. We're always playing catch up, aren't we, aren't we Ninja Bill? Blue Streak sounds nice as a Walmart exclusive. Yeah, the Blue Streak looks great. It's just, I'm I, like, I already have my Datsun trio, and I think I'm going to stick with them. Um, Let's see. Oh, garage sales, Walmart. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. Um, is going to carry the Seekers, possibly October. Uh, Maximal 10, I am, I by the Seekers, I assume you mean the Rainmakers. Um, I, I, I want them. I want them. The sooner, the better. Uh, I really like the Beast Machines for one thing. It introduces Stryka, and she's one of my fave characters. Fair enough, Sam. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Obsidian as well was a good character. Uh, WFC Skywarp is amazing. You know, Green Turtle Gaming, I, like when you say WFC Skywarp, do you mean the, the new, the Siege one? Or do you mean the like one based on the video game years ago? Because both Skywarps are amazing. Skywarp's always amazing, man. Um, Starscream Wipe is in here. Oh, yes. Yes. The target is gone. It makes me so sad. Um, Let's see, going down, another unpopular opinion. Generation Selects is a bad move for people who don't go to Target or order online. Hmm. Fair enough. Um, patience there. Or uh, 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 <laughs> You'd have to know. Maximal 10 just said patience, or he's going to get a load of weird China bots for me to review. He likes giving me weird oddities. To be fair, Maximal 10, good, good friend of the channel. Um... And uh, really, all of the G1 MicroMaster stuff that I've been reviewing is on loan from him. He's such a huge help to the channel, beyond appreciated. 
Uh, and as humble as he is, he's probably hating on me now for giving him such a shout out. Uh, okay. Uh, we also saw this week Rong and uh, um, Singe. They look fantastic. I found out that apparently Hair Splitter is in that pack with Skywarp under that different name. I don't I don't know why. I might just paint my own hair splitter, I think. Um, Moon Model 3D Metal Puzzles showed off Tarn. Last week I talked about Wheeljack Tarn. Their Tarn puzzle looks amazing as well. Um, to, as of today, at least here in Canada at EB Games, Lyo Convoy went up for pre-order. Uh, I think it's great for people that are into that line. I saw the Unicron transformation video. I don't like the transformation. They're doing it on that post. I don't think that you can handle that guy without that stand. If you're in for that, cool. But I, no, it's not for me. And it's funny, Starscream wife and myself were at a friend's house last night. And they had a big mirror. And this big mirror is 30 inches across, the same diameter as that Unicron. It really put it in perspective. And it was a round mirror at that. It really put in perspective. Granted, it was more 2D, 2D than, you know, a, a sphere. But put, put in perspective just how enormous, ridiculously enormous, this thing is going to be. 30-inch diameter for that planet mode. I mean, get a tape measure, guys, and just see just how big that is, how much real estate that that's going to take up. Uh, just just saying, man, just, just saying. Uh, let's see. I'm uh, going to go back here and check real quick again because I see that Bumble, uh, that Bumble Breeze um, Transformers reviews came in here. Welcome to you, my friend. Um, uh, Hasbro should make a Siege Tracks figure. Uh, Rodimus, I'm, I'm going to say that you say it as FNAF. Um, I know it's Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, uh, a siege tracks maybe it'd be interesting to see what they would come up with for an alt mode i'll, I'll certainly give you that uh clarence aimless for three bucks that's a good price for aimless man uh went to let's see um do you think the next line will be called fall of sartron i don't i've heard that the next line is going to be called armageddon unofficially don't hold me to it but i've heard that it's Siege, and then it's Armageddon. I don't know what the next one will be. Uh, unpopular opinion, Hasbro needs to re-release Generations Metroplex. I, is that an unpopular opinion? Because I think a lot of people would like for Metroplex to be re-released. I don't need them, but I know a lot of people I think would be down for that. I don't know if that's unpopular or not. Um, Rodimus said... Uh, very nice of you, Max Multi. Yes, David Hill, it is very nice of him. He is uh, an absolute gent. Um, Star we do not need another Metroplex. We don't. Starscream Wife says we don't need another Metroplex, but you know what we do need? Scorponok. That's what we need. Uh, yeah, I know you I know you meant the video game one, Green Turtle Gaming, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Um, Skywarp coming soon says August 23rd for me. You're lucky, Snoke. Uh, there's nowhere to order them here in Canada yet that I know of. So, um, no way to get Skywarp that I know of, sadly. Um, not unless something hap happens. I thought there was a noise behind me. My unpopular uh, G1 is not the end all be all. There, I said it. Whoa, Star Screen White took the gloves off. Wow, that is an unpopular opinion. Uh, just do RTS tracks with the right chest echo. I don't know. I'm okay with RTS tracks as he is, to be honest with you. Um, oh, no, heretic. Uh, okay. Uh, a commander class Skylinks would be cool. I agree, Optimus Prime. Uh, I am paranoid now, David. You're right. I'm usually, I live my life on the edge, buddy. I'm usually paranoid. Uh, I don't have Metroplex. He's too much. He is in the aftermarket too much. I agree. Um, and oversized KO of Metroplex. Why would you need an oversized KO of Metroplex? Where are you putting something bigger than two feet? Where? What kind of real estate do you dudes have in your houses, man? Oh, just, just saying. Okay, so we've covered most things, thankfully. Now we get to... Um, I want to do a real, real fast recap of episode one of Universal Collision. It premiered last Friday. A lot of you guys were in there for the premiere. I absolutely thank you, everybody who has checked it out. However, that being said, it has come to my attention after the fact about three times now that 
if people try to view the episode in the uh, YouTube app, like on their phone or something, that it, it sometimes it's freezing, sometimes it's not. I can watch it in the app. I can watch it on my computer, and I haven't had it freeze yet. But it has come up a couple of times. Here's the thing that I will say. If you encounter it or you know somebody who would like to watch it and they encounter it, the one time and the one place that it seems to work absolutely fine for everybody is the link that is embedded on the Gotbot, Gotbot Facebook page. So if you haven't liked the Gotbot Facebook page, it's down in the description. Hit that, like the page, scroll down a little bit. You will see the link. You can watch it right there on Facebook. And it apparently has worked fine every single time. In terms of that one, it ran for about a half hour, and some people said there was a lot of explanation in it. Surely there was a lot of explanation in it. We had four situations unfold. We had uh, Decepticons battling with Autobots. Remember, what we are encountering and seeing here is pretty quickly after the big flash that collapsed the entire multiverse into one. There are confused memories. There are confused uh, you know, allegiances. There are confused uh, alliances. But Autobots know that they don't like Decepticons, and Decepticons know they don't like Autobots. So the war wages on. But Rodimus is aware that there's something else going on because he is a prime, as is Nova, as is Sentinel, as is Optimus. Also, don't forget that in the uh, epilogue to season one, all four of those were brought uh, really like kind of uh, through a like a like a cortical cerebral patch. They were brought by Alpha Trion uh, to like the void of nothingness. Their consciousness was brought to the void of nothingness, and they were given orders to go back in space to the coordinates where Cybertron was. And there, they would be able to save Primus. So all four of them, totally unsure of what's happening and what's going on, just know that they have one mission, get home. Of course, while all four of them explain to their respective Autobot teams that, hey, we're going home, Decepticons over here, and each Decepticon group that overhears someone says, well, we need to report back. So Optimus and his crew are traveling currently aboard Skylynx to go home. And Pounce and Wingspan are going to report back to somebody about that. We have uh, Nova and his team aboard the Metroplex ship. The Metroplex ship. It's important you know that it's just the Metroplex ship at this point. Um, they have taken off to go home, but we know that Trigger Happy and Misfire are going to report back. We have Sentinel and his crew. Um, well, actually, Sentinel's crew is aboard Sentinel himself, and he is the one taking his crew back to Cybertron. And we know that uh, Quillfire and Thunderhoof overheard Sentinel talking. And now they're going to report back to someone. And last but not least, Rodimus and his crew will go aboard the uh, the fortress, and they were also overheard by, let me remember who they were overheard now by, pardon me, it's been a long day, uh, but they were overheard, and now they're going back, so we have four Autobots from four different corners of the universe, all starting to travel back to Converge, and we have four Decepticon forces getting ready to report back to their Decepticon leaders, and then at the very end, we discovered that there's a Nemesis Prime roaming around a nemesis prime that takes out an autobot and does something to lock down to apparently bring him under his allegiance to unicron that's pretty much it for episode one now when will episode two premiere a week from tomorrow the following friday a lot of people might not like the longer space between it but i'm trying to give you guys regular intervals between episodes, that's going to change eventually, but we're going to go with that for now. So the plan is a week from tomorrow, we're going to have the premiere of episode two. Um, in the meantime, if you have questions about what you've seen so far, hey man, ask them. I'm going to check in here now uh, before we kind of cover the last couple of things that I have down here. Um, uh, going back up here. Let's see. Um, another unpopular opinion, Transformers cartoon. 
that has from start to finish uh, Star Saber and Nemesis Prime as the TF leaders. Ooh, that would be an interesting one. Star Saber and Nemesis Prime as the TF leaders. I don't know how it would fly, though, because they're not as well known, but I don't know. Uh, I'm able to watch it instantly when it went live. I'm glad Marvelous Prime was able to watch it fine. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's been a bit weird. Um, I'd like to see the Conehead Seekers in the next WFC line. I agree, Chris. I'd like to see the Coneheads in there, too, but I want a new mold. Don't use the Seeker mold that we're using for Starscream and the other ones. I want a unique Conehead Seeker mold. Um, let's see. Siege will be an anime, apparently. Um, I don't know, Green Turtle Gaming, if that's true, because I heard the Polygon is doing the artwork for it, and they've done Transformers Prime. I don't know. Maybe it will be an anime. We'll see. Uh, I love the new effects you used uh, for the explosions. Thank you. Marvelous Prime, I'm working on the effects. I really need to work on the sound effects. I still apologize, guys, for the sound effects. I have a lot of work to do there. I know that. But stick with me because it's all a growing process as we go. As I learn, you'll see the fruits of those, the fruits of my labor. Um, he's in story mode. Give him a few minutes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she's mean. Um I just wanted to kind of cover the story because a couple of people asked me things. By the way, a couple of people made certain assumptions about the characterization. Like when they saw Nova, a few people said, I don't trust Nova. And of course, they point out the fact that he becomes Nemesis Prime the comics. All I'm going to say is this. Don't necessarily believe everything that you think you know about a character. Uh, yes, indeed. Sir. Uh, uh, I'll be in a few. Uh, by the way, uh, the plural for, for ninja is ninja. Really? Is the plural for ninja ninja? That's weird, man. Uh, Starscream really should have the leader at some point. He should have, Ty. I agree. Starscream should have got a chance before Galvatron just kind of blew him away. Speaking of which, speaking of which, Larkin also touched on Starscream being the leader in a recent uh, dis little discussion video he had where what if Megatron had just died when he was thrown out of Astro Train? What if he'd been finished and not become Galvatron? Again, check that out. It was very thought-provoking, very interesting. Um, plural of samurai is also samurai. Really, David? I, are you guys sure? Plural, plural of moose is moose. There, that's that's what I have to add. Plural of moose is moose. Um, let's see. I'm back. This has gone a, a lot longer than I wanted it to, but it's gone along because we were having technical difficulties. Okay, we're almost at the end here now. The last thing, the last thing is what's going to be coming up this coming week in the world of reviews. Well, I just had this lad arrive. A lot of you already have him, this big boy. Um, I have not had a chance to look at him a lot yet. I certainly have not had a trans chance to transform him. He is bulky. He is hefty. I'm going to do a pretty in-depth comparison with um, the leader class generations. Uh, Skyfire, Jetfire, whatever you want to call them, when I do the review for this guy. And a very interesting kind of tidbit about the, the price that I'll address there as well that will make his guilty or innocent verdict a lot more intriguing uh, for me to kind of discuss when the time comes. He is hefty. I'm going to give him that. Starscream Wife, I'm not a huge fan of him. She does not like the backpack. I know. Us animation freaks, we love it, but she's not a fan. Also, um, just got this. Uh, it is the MicroMaster 10-pack. I know that in the States, it is an exclusive at Target. It is a Toys R Us exclusive up here. So I'm very, very glad to have this. Um, interestingly, there's a member of uh, Six Turbo in there and uh, a member of one of the uh, Micro Master combiners, like one of those, like two sets. For those in the know, you know who I'm talking about. For those not in the know, this is going to be a fun review because I actually still have a lot of the G1 versions of these guys. So we're going to do a lot of side by side comparison for that pack. I'm looking forward to it. And last but not least, I want to show you guys, and this will be a review this week coming up. If you have been kind of keeping track this past week, I looked at Studio Series 31. Uh, Battle Damaged Megatron, and he was a gift basically from Starscream Wife as I am just now about to hit one year of being smoke-free. Uh, one of the hardest things that I ever had to do, so glad that I did it. Um, so it was kind of like a, a bit of a reward for from her for 
uh, going through that. And when I got the mold, I said, you know what? We've never had a violin jiger. I want to do this one as violin jiger. I did see a custom done of it. I didn't want to do that same sort of thing. So I did something much different. And he looks like this. Uh, I'm going to talk about the paint that I added and the paint that I left how I made his cloak, and no, he's actually not supposed to have a hood, and perhaps the hardest part of this custom, how I made that disturbing face, tri-face thing, it's it was, it's a weird amalgamation, but uh, I'm going to do a full look at this guy coming up this week. It shouldn't take too long because I'm not going to be showing the transformation and whatnot because there's no real need to, man. We already looked at it. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what's coming up this week uh, as well as the next episode of Universal Collision. Um, I've also been asked to do uh, like a collection tour, so to speak. I'm going to try and do that sometime in the next couple of weeks. I think people are going to be surprised by how small it actually is. Is. Okay, that's a whole lot of stuff covered. This went long because we we're having technical difficulties. Let's go back. Let's see. Let's see uh, what we have here in the comments, and then I'm going to give a few closing out thoughts here and get off of, uh, you know, get off of here and uh, go and probably fiddle with uh, Jetfire here and figure him out a little bit. Um, Marvelous Prime says twice about your new episodes. It's going to be live streamed or just uploaded. Uh, Marvelous Prime, are they going to be, uh, I guess when you say live streamed or uploaded, uh, you mean, are they going to be done as a premiere? Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to put that, I'm going to make a poll for that. What would you guys like to see? Do you want, did, did you have fun? Did you like the first episode being done as a premiere? Do you want me to just upload them or do you want me to do the episodes as premieres? I, I'm cool with doing them as a premiere if you guys want me to do them as a premiere. Um, Let's see here, and I will get down to that. And I'm really glad that Starscream Wife is here to help with this. Um, yeah, he is a big boy. Uh, Green Turtle Gaming, I agree. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Co-founder of what? LODN. I don't know what LODN is. Uh, Ninja Bill, I don't know what. Co-founder of the LOD. I don't know what LODN is. Um, he's a large lad. He is. Uh, League of what disposable ninja? How clandestine of you! Um, going down through, love that Jetfire Larkin. I, I don't know if I love him yet, I haven't had a chance to fiddle with him enough yet. Um, you die and come back in different vessel that has to be Starscream that Snoke is talking about. Uh, I Got my jet fire in last week. He is so worth it. Is he, David? Is he worth it? We'll see. We'll talk about that. Um, tie in here. Uh, and then you, uh, can't wait to see your, your review on that. I'm still debating on that MicroMaster set. I, I'm in for the Siege MicroMasters. I don't have those, those uh, G1 ones. And the more I've been fiddling and playing with those... More I'm liking the Siege ones. I love R.I.D. 2001. So do I. R.I.D. 2001 was a good story, good show. Um, let's see, Marilyn's Prime. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, it's okay, Dennis. Uh, no one is perfect. Uh, if she doesn't like the backpack, tell her <laughs> Dora has a live movie coming out. Dora is awful. I, I saw a thing yesterday and said, like, get ready to live on the wild side. Catch Dora the Explorer in theaters. <laughs> what? I don't, I'm just saying, the movie theater and I have way different ideas of what the word wild means. Dora the Explorer, sorry. Sorry, I don't get it, man. Um, congrats on the one-year anniversary. Thank you, Marvelous Prime. It was not always easy. Um, the first release of Off-Road Patrol. Congrats on kicking the smoking habit. Thank you, MWG. It was not easy. And to you, Ninja Bill. Starscream Wife is very happy that I did it. Thank you, Larrikin. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, that looks awesome, Sam. I assume you're talking about Violent Jiger. Thank you. Uh, it was really hard to come up with what to do for his tri-faced head, especially because I didn't necessarily want to do... There's an, like a famous image of him from the comic pages, and then there's like a couple of like shadowy images from the cartoon. So I sort of done a melange of the two. So it's, it's a little bit of my own view, to be honest with you. Um, we're almost at the end here now. Let's see. Um, 
Hunt videos uh, might be fun. Us Americans can see what TRU, TRU is like now with the EB Games concept. You know, here's the thing about hunt videos. I see them all the time, and I'm like, how do I don't understand how people necessarily like do it. Are you allowed to do it? I don't even know how you find out if you're allowed to do it. Do you do it clandestinely? I'm not even sure how to do a hunt video uh, and kind of get away with it. Armada Prime is better with Overload. Uh, also, something I like to do when I have them uh, combined is keep the head fins to the side and follow them out during the Jet Optimus Prime formation. Masterfire, I got to be honest, I don't even know what you're talking about, man. But it's only because I, it's not a line that I know. It's not a line that I know. Like Armada Prime, I don't, I've never had the toy in hand. I know zip about it. Is that the one that Bolt Matrix had set on fire? Or am I wrong about that? Um, that would look cool, Master Fire. Uh, see, Ninja Bill agrees with, agrees with you, Master Fire. Um, movie Warpath would be cool. Unpopular opinion. Energon Ironhide is not annoying. Oh, dear fan geek. Energon Ironhide. Kicker is the best human character. Unpopular opinion. Kicker is the best human character. Uh, T-Man seems to have no problem doing them. T-Man T -Man has no problem doing what? MWG. What am I missing? Um, T-Man's a good guy, by the way. He's a great guy. Um, oh, T-Man does hunt videos. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how he does it, though. I don't know if he gets permission or not. Uh, he was just poorly written. Uh, what about in Superlink? Kicker. Uh, I started when he mentioned Kicker. <laughs> um, and uh, hunt videos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I got you. I just wasn't following. Uh, kicker. Kicker. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I have gone an hour. This is the longest one of these I've done yet, and I don't think it would have been as long if it wasn't for the um, tech issues that I wasted some time on there. I apologize for that. I absolutely thank my wife for fixing things. She is our hero here this evening, but isn't she always our hero? Um, video camera glasses are usually... What? Video camera glasses? I'm not a spy. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for me. I'm going to go. I'm going to fiddle with those figures. That's the things that are to come. I'm going to put the poll up in the community section. Uh, feel free to comment. If you're watching this after the fact, feel free to put your vote in the comments. Do you want to see the episodes of Universal Collision um, done as premieres so that I'm there to have the conversation with you guys? Or do you want me to just put them up? It's up to you. I'm leaving the choice, the decision in your hands. As always, I want to thank you for dropping by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. I know how important it is to you. There's a donation link down in the description if you're in a position to help the channel. Otherwise, thanks for dropping by. And I very much look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams or right here inside the videos.